I'm Chief Meteorologist Eric Sorensen. It sure was nice to see a little sunshine early today, but we have clouded those skies up and the clouds will give us a little rain and snow before you know it. Temperatures today made it from 28 this morning to 37. Quite a thick frost on the car windows early this morning, but we're talking about snow accumulation. After all, it is January. Get ready for more winter weather. We'll talk all about that coming up next. Had a great time this morning at Flynn Middle School. School bus pulled in. I, you know, I've noticed or earlier today when we were putting this graphic together, there's no one driving the school bus. I have no idea how this is taking place, and I have no idea how to get a little person inside that school bus. But we had a great time talking to the science uh, uh, students there, the sixth grade of my sixth grade teacher, Mary Reeder. So it was just fantastic to get out there a second year in a row. And uh, Mrs. Reeder, can I come back next year? Give me a call. Live pictures on the Skywatch tonight over downtown Rockford, courtesy of Midwest Wireless, as we look at the State Street Bridge and temperatures. Air temperature, 34 degrees, 7 mile per hour wind out of the south southwest, and a feels like temperature of 28. So temperatures outside right now across the region are in the 30s, but wind chill factors are really not much of a factor. In fact, temperatures tonight probably aren't going to fall off too much. Noticing here on the Skywatch Next Rad, just south of Rockford, uh, out here to Whiteside County and to Lee County, we do have a couple of radar returns. Now, the thing that's interesting here is we've got a very dry le level of air at the low levels of the atmosphere. So basically, none of this is going to be hitting the ground for tonight. You may see a sprinkle. You may see a flurry. That's going to be about it. We thicken up the clouds. 29, the overnight low, damp and cool. Tomorrow, we will see the real deal coming out of the sky. A little light rain at times, eventually changing over to snow. Notice the temperature is at 37 degrees. So it's going to get hard to accumulate the snow initially. So messy weather ahead. Tomorrow, we'll likely start with just a little bit of light rain or light snow. But the dry air near the ground will probably evaporate most of this. However, that evaporation process cools the atmosphere. So eventually, as we have and towards tomorrow night, we are expecting the snow to fall, and that will make the ground a little whiter as we go mainly into tomorrow night. Here's what we're forecasting, mainly one to three inches area wide, lesser amounts as you head south of I-88. Once again, that's for tomorrow night. Here is the sunshine for today. The clouds are already thickening up, but there's not much coming out of these clouds. It's snowing out here into Denver tonight, and that's the system that will push across the plains as we take you through tomorrow. Temperatures now 42 in St. Louis, 50 Wichita, 41 into Kansas City, and it's 43 in Topeka, Kansas. Here comes that area of low pressure. As we head in towards tonight, the snow breaks out into western Iowa. That will push eastward. May mix with a little rain snow before we cool the atmosphere and change it over to snow for tomorrow night. And then by Friday, Notice we've got a hole here in the clouds, so it looks like we'll see just a little bit of sunshine. This is not a major winter storm. However, should it intensify, we may get to a borderline snow advisory event, but I think everybody should be able to get where you're going. Just allow some extra time Thursday night into early Friday. And then Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, not impressive when you see one measly little snowflake falling Well, that's what I was noticing skies. at five. Like every couple <laughs> seconds, there's like one little snowflake. So it doesn't look like so slowly. So yes, a, a snow flurry, snow shower. That's about Not it. Not that big a deal. Maybe a little bit more snow week from today. All right. Thanks a lot, Eric. Thanks, mm -hmm. Eric. Striking riders in Hollywood could cause 